What's up guys? I've got a very interesting video for you today. Uh, I've got a champion spotlight on a champion who as of today is not actually in the game, which is February 1st, 2024. We just got the announcement that she's going to be added and we got a preview of her kit. I'll take a look at that now and I'll show you why I was excited about it. Okay, so everyone say hi to Hell Hades. Hey guys, first of all, this is Hell Hades. Uh, and second of all, what makes her great is her A2. Uh, has a 100% chance to decrease the duration of all enemy buffs by two turns, which isn't super important, but it's actually helpful because against Affinity Clan boss, the clan boss will actually place an 25% increase attack buff on himself. So if you can knock that off the clan boss, then you're taking 25% less damage than you would otherwise. It's actually not terrible. Uh, but the important thing is she increases the duration of all ally buffs by one turn. And she throws out a 20% heal based off her max HP. That's just a nice bonus. The buff extension is the important part. And even better, when you go down to her passive, she removes one debuff from all allies at the start of this champion's turn. That's what got me inspired to do this. So I went to deadwoodjedi.com, went into the clan boss speed tuning calculator, and I figured out how to speed tune or make tweaks to a pre-existing speed tune called the Haikatoon White Whale. Um, and with the adjustments that I made, you'll see I'm using Sandlash Survivor here as our proxy for High Mother Mod. Uh, don't freak out, it's, it's a perfectly viable vi uh, proxy because they each have a three turn cooldown ally buff extension. So that's the only thing that we're really looking for. She's just, just Sandlash Survivor is just a stand in. So the reason I wanted to do this is because I thought if I could figure out a way to tweak this pre-existing speed tune so that High Mother Mod is going first in the team order, she'll be there to cleanse not only the stun, but after the spirit debuff is placed by Spirit Affinity Clan, or sorry, the decrease speed debuff is placed by Spirit Affinity Clan boss, she'll go first in the team order and cleanse that as well. Now there's really no real way to tell if this will work without actually crunching the numbers and doing the math, or until the good folks at deadwoodjedi.com add her to the calculator, but I'm very confident that this is going to work, and I'll show you why. So if we go from Void to Spirit, at first things get out of whack, but if I do something as small as increase the delay on Haikatoon's A2 by two turns, it sinks into a 2-1 turn ratio speed tune again. It's not perfect. Like you can see, High Mother Mod, aka Sandlash Survivor in this instance, is going second, so she's not there to cleanse the stun. So as long as whoever your champion in the uh, 193 speed slot is, isn't taking the stun, Literally anyone else on the team can take the stun, and they won't get their turn skipped. So because it works while under decreased speed, I'm very confident that when we go back to Void and change that, that her cleansing the spirit debuff will allow this to continue as a functional 2-1 speed tune. In a lot of cases, when you have speed tunes like this, uh, the speed tune will actually sink faster when against spirit for some reason. So uh, I'm confident this will work. And if we look at nightmare and then go back to spirit, even without cleansing or making any changes, it stays on a perfect two one turn ratio. The only thing again you got to worry about is whoever's in your 193 speed slot isn't the one who's taking the stun. So what else? Does High Mother Mod bring to the table that makes me so excited to run her in my claim boss team? So not only is she cleansing the debuffs and extending the buffs, she also has an A1 decrease attack and a heal. So she's doing like four jobs at once. Now, why is this significant to me specifically? I recently started a new free-to-play Rares Only Plus series. In this series, I'm using only Rare Champions and Lower, as well as Daily Login Champions, and Champions who are permanently free and accessible forever. So, High Mother Mod is included in that category, so she's going to be a massive boon to my account, and potentially the accounts of many new players that are coming up in the game. Because Haikatoon is a free daily login reward champion 
High Mother mod is a champion people can work towards forever eventually and get her. And then you can just use whomever else you need. Um, you could use a Rosin Scarhide, for example. It, does, it doesn't really matter. Like, because she's doing three jobs, it opens, it makes this Hykatoon White Whale composition so much easier to fill out. Like, with just, like, it's crazy. Like, I got my decreased defense, two poisoners, and then you need just need someone who can do ally protection, and you're basically got everything you need covered. Like, and Kira the Watcher here, I used her ex as an example, because she's, like, another permanent fusion. So, it's crazy. Like, this is she's going to be really good, and she's going to help a lot of people. Uh, Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss was one of the biggest concerns in the back of my mind when I started this new journey. Um, but I'm really excited to see that there's a viable option. Now, let's, here, I'll get out of the way, and I'll show you guys the, um, the speeds in the setup. So, Haikatoon, 248. Sandlash Survivor 178. Whoever this person is, your DPS 1 will say, 225. DPS 2 is 193. And then your Ally Protect Champion or Counterattack or whoever you use in this slot is 199. These are all extremely accessible speeds. Um, like, they're not like day one early game stuff, but like. Three or four months in, you should have no problem building a team like this. So as soon as you get your hands on High Mother Mod, you are good to go, baby. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's all I've got uh, for you guys today. Hopefully some of you found this informative and helpful. Um, if you'd like to see more of my content, consider subscribing and hitting the like button on this video. It helps me a lot. And if you'd like to, uh, feel free to check out my Rares Only Plus series. I'll have a playlist linked above over here. Um, and again, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully I'll see you in another video soon and until next time, happy raiding.